Okay, so welcome back to the second part of sending uh, an SMS message with PHP. Now in this part we are going to take the array that we've created with all the data uh, from source SMS in and we're going to actually go ahead and send um, a message with this. So what we need to do is we need to actually access the source SMS API and to do this we need to create a query string from the array that we've created uh, in our um, in our PHP page here. So we've got this fields array that we, we already know that we've created. And what we need to do is, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and convert this to a query string. And we're going to do this using the HTTP build query function. So let's just go ahead and test it out first of all. Uh, so the function is uh, HTTP build query and we pass through an array and there, there's a variety of other ways you can use this function just you know head over to the PHP manual and check that out now when I go ahead and refresh this you'll see that we have uh, something slightly different and here we've got from equals Alex then we've got an ambassand to specify the next variable and its value so that's two and then my number and then the message and so on and so forth and all the all the details that we have here uh, let me just go ahead and change this back to 1. I've been doing some testing between the two video parts uh, and that's why you'll also notice that with uh, my... let's just open here. Uh, you'll see that I have sent 4 now, so worthwhile, worthwhile pointing that out. Okay, so what we can actually do now is we can say uh, fields string is equal to the result of this function, which is that query string. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this now because I was going to do it a slightly different way and that was looping through uh, each element um, and then URL encoding it, so using the URL encode function in PHP and building up the query string that way uh, but this function is you know quite neat and you know it works on one line okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to connect via curl or, you know yeah via curl um, and actually send this uh, data to this page here okay so we need to connect a curl set a few options so set the URL the amount of fields that we're sending the field data itself and then actually execute this and this will send all this de this data to the uh, URL at the top of the script so the first thing that we want to do is set up a handle uh, or a handler for curl and this is just using the curl init function so it's initializing curl Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set a few options. The first one being the URL that we want to send to. So we're going to be using the curl set opt function uh, a few times over. Um, and this uses the handle that we've just specified up here. Uh, and then we pass through uh, the options. So the URL, the comma, and the URL, which is just the URL variable up here. I'm going to duplicate this down uh, f three times because we're going to be setting three different things. The second one is post. Now this isn't, this, this isn't actually the post data. It's rather the count of the, uh, of the fields. Uh, we have a final option, post fields, which is the, the fields themselves. Now we know this. It's the um, field string that we generated just a moment ago. However, this one's the count. Now we could just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pop eight in there. Uh, but it's much better just to do count and then fields. So count will count the amount of uh, elements within an array. Okay, so now that we've set all of these options, we need to actually go ahead and execute this. So I'm going to create a variable called result, and I'm going to store the result of curl oh, exec. So execute and then the handle for the curl uh, initialization which is ch and then I'm going to go ahead and close the connection and you probably guessed specifying the ch in there now if everything's worked here uh, we should be able to actually send a message so I have my phone with me obviously you're not going to be able to see the result of this I'm just going to have to uh, check it comes through properly and then I can assume well know that the codes correct and um, we've done everything correctly so let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our browser and hit enter. And there we go. So the reason that this is showing uh, is, oh, you have probably heard that vibration then, um, is because we have source info set to one. If we had source info set to zero, 
nothing happens. So if I go ahead and do this again, uh, in fact I'll explain this quickly first. Uh, so we've got just a, a confirmation message, the message itself, the number that's being sent to, how it's being from, and our credit count as well. So relatively straightforward stuff here. Um, yeah, again, so if I was to set this to zero, go ahead and refresh. You'll hear the vibrate in just a moment. There we go. So that's uh, a text to my phone, basically. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, in this tutorial, we have essentially, well, it's, I mean, it, this is extremely straightforward and Source SMS have made this ridiculously straightforward. Just by specifying these different options, we can build up this query using the HTTP build query function in PHP. You know, open a, a basic curl um, connection and, and send this data here, or use curl to send this data here. And obviously, if you were sending this data, you know, sort of retrieving a number from a database or, you know, a form or something like that, it's extremely easy to just, uh, you know, place any variables in here. And this will be sent along with a query, so specifying which numbers uh, for things to be sent to, from, you know, things like that, and obviously the message as well. So that is uh, how to very easily send SMS messages with PHP.